It's not often that a classical music ensemble can be called extraordinarily talented, cutting edge, and beautiful. But that's exactly what the Eroica Trio is. The three women that make up the trio will be performing at Ravinia's Martin Theater on Monday. And joining us now is one-third of the group, cellist Sarah Santambrogio. Hello, nice to have you here, Sarah. Nice to be here. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Tell us how you formed, because unlike, let's say, a girl band, you're not a corporate manufactured <laughs> group. How does a trio form? Well, we formed because Erica Nickrens, the pianist, studied with my grandmother at my family's music camp. And uh, we started playing together when we were 12 years old. And um, then we had a, a violinist, Adela Pena, who we also, Erica and Adela, had been playing since they were nine years old. And so we thought, Erica, Adela and I started playing together, and we were playing in duos, and we thought, I wonder what would happen if all three of us played at the same time together. So it was a group of childhood friends. It was, yeah. And we together. grew up together, and, and, you know, we never thought to ourselves, let's be the Eroica Trio. We just thought we really wanted to play together, and we really wanted to try to play concerts, because that's more fun than just playing in a practice room. And lo and behold, here we are. Here you are, and you have a new member that joined about three years ago. We do. Is that right? Susie Park, yeah. Now, your family's heritage goes back hundreds of years. Your yes. musical heritage. Tell More us than about 600. that. Well, my father, John San Rojo, was principal cello of the St. Louis Symphony, and uh, I'm a Midwest girl. And uh, my great, my grandparents actually were concert pianists and, and violinists. My grandfather was in a string quartet with Joseph Gingold. He was the best man at my grandparents' wedding. And then great grandparents, all the way back to Sant'Ambrogio, who was a patron saint of the arts in Milano. Wow. So there was a, a lot That's of a a great destiny or density. And so you were destined to pick up the cello. I but was did destined. Your, did your parents uh, object or did they have some ideas for what maybe other musical instrument you might pick up? Yes, they did. They started me on piano when I was two. And um, when I was four, I just decided I had to have the cello, had to have the cello. And they did not want me to play the cello because my father was worried that I would feel overshadowed by him or something. And uh, so every birthday and Christmas, I would put on my Christmas, my gift list, I'd put cello, pony, puppy. Sometimes puppy and pony would change places, but always cello was number one. And you got the cello. Finally, and I got the puppy a few but years not a later. Pony. Never the pony. <laughs> I know. Let's talk quickly about this new venture that you're starting. You're veering into the winemaking, or at least an association with a winemaker. Tell us what that's all about. I am. It's called Expressions of Artistry, and Elizabeth Theana, who is the head winemaker of Chimney Rock Winery, um, we are both female artists in traditionally male-dominated fields where we've had to work ten times harder to be taken seriously and and to have not have our gender not overshadow our talent and our achievements and we decided that there is the the two main ingredients of a perfect evening are great wine and great music so we I'm launching my new solo box CD with Chimney Rocks new wine and we're doing a series of events and concerts um, across the country we're doing one uh, on sun, Sunday afternoon for the four o'clock at Tangley Oaks here. So a little wine and a little of the, your, your magnificent Bob, playing. It sounds you. like a perfect evening for me. And as I mentioned, Sarah Santambrogio and the other two members of the Eroica Trio will perform at Ravinia's Martin Theater on Monday evening at 8 o'clock. Their program includes works by Gershwin, Bernstein, and Mendelssohn. For more about Sarah, her tour dates, and recordings, go to our website, wttw.com slash Chicago Tonight. And now performing the prelude from box suite number one in G major, here's Sarah Santambrogio. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Sarah. And that's our show for this Wednesday night. I hope you join us tomorrow night live at 7. We'll look at the creation of a neighborhood mural in Edgewater. And Jeffrey Bear answers your questions about Chicago beach houses and other little-known Chicago lore. Now, for all of us here at Chicago Tonight, I'm Eddie Aruza, and I thank you for watching. We leave you now with Sarah Sant'Ambrogio performing the classic Gershwin tune, Summertime. <laughs> Thank you.